in incredibly dominant performance for you tonight. Uh, probably maybe one of the best of your career, if not the best. Um, what do you attribute the success to? Um, you know, my talent, first of all, um, my will to win, and then obviously my coaches and my teammates behind me. Um, just that, that perfect storm. And then obviously all my experiences put together. It's just um, I'm just ready to get to the top. I got to ask you, as dominant as you were, what was your mindset like as things are playing out over and over and you're getting her in bad position after bad position and she just won't go away? Um, I mean, was there any part where your kind of will was being questioned? What's going through your head? Yeah, a couple times I was a little frustrated, but I kept here in my corner just uh, reaffirming my, you know, my, my thoughts and just, you know, just let the, the finish come. Don't force it. Um, when I force things, it, it just doesn't go well. So, um, I, but I also knew beforehand that um, she was going to be flexible, and I knew that there was going to be submissions there, but it might not be finished right away. So, um, just everything that I knew beforehand going into it after studying her and knowing what I'm good at and what she's good at, um, it just all came together. And obviously, after you, you celebrated quickly, but then you went right back over to check on her. And I wonder if there was any part that had any kind of like sympathy or emotion. I mean, you know how much hype there was around her, and it, it seemed kind of like a familiar position. Maybe there was a lot of hype around you, and then you had to go through a defeat and, and, and deal with it. Um, did you kind of feel anything for her in that position? Yeah, um, I feel like the position that she's in right now is where I was in a year ago. Uh, similar. I, was, I shouldn't say nobody's the same, but um, I can feel for her, and she she showed a lot of heart in this fight. So, um, you know, I know she's gonna come back real strong. And last question: the, the hair was obviously so much of a discussion point going in. Is is that the new style moving forward? I, I really like it, you know. Um, but I think I want to maybe play with different styles, maybe a cute mohawk, mohawk or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just whatever. Uh, but I do like it a lot. So we'll see. Uh, I'm sure you heard about the bonus. Uh, any ideas of what you'll be spending that on? Um, I've been saying that I I want to buy a house really bad. Um, that's my dream. So I'm gonna start looking right now. Uh, we'll see what's available. I know the Denver uh, housing market is pretty crazy right now. So hopefully that's in that's in my um, future. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, question for for Rose. You know, coming off the Ultimate Fighter, you had, you know, you did have a lot of hype coming into that fight with Carla. You had to go through the loss. You said this is a new year, a new you. What has been the biggest difference? Was it just the training? Was it a mindset thing? What is the biggest difference for you right now? Uh, the list is just endless with the transformation that I've went through. But um, I could say the main thing is that I've just been focusing on me. And what I, I mean, that's just a really general statement. But it just, um, that's the only thing that matters is uh, I put myself first and help others after that, whatever's left over. And um, just focusing on, you know, not not paying attention to too much of what's going around me and, and people talking and this and that. Like, really just monitoring um, all the pressures. And, like, I, I, I haven't been on my phone not not at all um so that's like one huge help it's just because when you start to like look at the media and you look at the things that people are saying like you you don't listen to yourself and that's the the main person that knows so and that knows in your position so that's just um one little thing i guess i've just also been um, more honest with myself and constantly self-awareness soul searching and uh, constantly trying to improve every day as a person and just trying to be a good person you, uh, you obviously earned the title shot that you got against Carla at that time. Now off this win, obviously Paige had a lot of, of hype. Obviously you're number three in the world. You know, it's tough to ask you where to go from here, but I mean, do you want to jump back in the title picture? Are you more interested in maybe getting a rematch with Carla now? I mean, I'm just curious like where your head's at because obviously at number three in the world, there's not a lot of direction you can go. Yeah, there's a lot to think about right now. So, um, I mean, I definitely... I, I feel that I'll be ready for the title shot, you know, uh, versus whoever's going to have it by the time. But uh, I also want to get a little vacation time in and just sit back and enjoy the holiday. So, um, you know, but if I if there's an opponent for me to like before that, like one more and then the title or the, just the title right away, it just depends on how things line up. I don't really want to necessarily jump on it too fast. Um, there were some things I feel like I could have improved in the fight um, and been more comfortable in certain spots. Um, and it just wasn't, I mean, it was definitely a great performance, but I, I feel like I can always improve. So um, like I said, I don't want to be um, overly excited or anything like that. <laughs>